Hey dudes, it's CI here. So I've got I've to gotta talk about Star Wars. I've been sitting on this video idea for a while because I saw Star Wars a while ago, almost like, I don't know, two months ago, but um, I just haven't had time to do the video or whatever, but I rewatched it last night and I'm all geeked up about it. So here we go. Let's talk about this. Now, I'm not going to give spoilers, except this spoiler, the movie's great. <laughs> It is so great. Now, I was around for the first three movies, so I remember that feeling, that feeling I had in the theater where where I was seeing something amazing, something new and perfect and awesome. I remember that feeling so well. And then when the next three movies came out, the prequels, I was an adult at that point, and, and I was excited about them coming, and I watched them with excitement. But as I was watching them, my main thoughts were, it's okay, it's not horrible, but it, at no point was I so caught up in those movies, so excited that I was jumping up and down in my seat, whispering to the guy next to me how awesome it was. I never had that with the prequels. With this movie here, The Force Awakens, I was doing that. I had that feeling again. It's so great. It reminds me of being a kid again, watching those first three and just freaking out about what I was watching. Now, I've come to believe that I've come to believe that there's no real reason to watch the prequels. They're moderately interesting, but do they add anything to the story that you absolutely must have? No. The original three can stand alone. I've come to believe we should, we should just disown those prequels. They were poorly done, and they're not necessary. So I think going forward, the world as a whole should not even bother with them. This new one, though, The Force Awakens, go. See it. It adds to the story. It's done well. It will get you excited. Now, what happened with those prequels? Some say it was just a money grab by George Lucas. I disagree. George Lucas doesn't need money. If J.K. Rowling put out a new Harry Potter book and it sucked, would you think it was a money grab? J.K. Rowling doesn't need money. If she put out a bad Harry Potter book, it would be because she lost her touch. She forgot how to tell a good story. I think that's what happened with George Lucas. For three movies, he was a genius storyteller. And then he lost his touch. It's sad, but there you are. This new movie, though, the writers, the producers, the directors, the actors, they all completely and totally delivered. They still have the storytelling touch, and I couldn't be happier. After those three prequels that were, at the very best, Okay, I feel like I've finally got the Star Wars universe back. It's mine again. I get to own it. I finally got it. I've got the Star Wars from my childhood. The one that made me jump up and down in my seat and whisper to the guy next to me, Oh my God, this is so awesome. That's how I felt when I saw this first three. And that's how I felt when I saw this new one. Go see it. These guys completely and totally delivered. Great movie. I cannot recommend it enough. All right, dudes. I'll see you next week.